Hi everyone, I'm Angie Kellen for SID. Today I'm in Vancouver, Canada for the 50th anniversary of Display Week. Joining me now is a team of gentlemen that was involved with creating the IGZO technology. I'll be interviewing them individually so we can know what their roles are in creating this technology that just received a Display Industry Award. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. Now we have a, a few people that we're going to be interviewing and thank goodness we have the help of our interpreter. Thank you very much. Dr. Kimizuka-san, can you please tell me your role in developing the IGZO technology? In 1985, uh, back in 1985, I was working at the uh, Inorganic Material Research Lab in Japan, and I was able to develop a new inorganic compound, and that was the IGZO. Well, terrific. So that's the building blocks for this technology. So essentially, you're the founder. Is that correct? Yes, that would be correct to say. We want to thank you for your founding efforts on this technology. Now let me move to one of the other team players as part of this technology. I'd like to introduce Dr. Yamazaki-san. He is with SEL. Dr. Yamazaki, can you tell me about your role in developing IGZO technology? あの、あ、エグゾをですね、その君塚先生が作ったんですけど、実際には白膜にしなきゃならないと。それでたまたま偶然私がその電子顕微鏡で見てた時に非常に薄い層があること、結晶層があることを見つけて それが多分使えるんじゃないかということでそこから発展させたと現実は確かにそれが非常にいい物性を持っててそれで今おそらく全てのディスプレイが行くぞに変わるんじゃないかという自信を私は持ってます uh, It came about this way. Uh, Dr. Kimizuka uh, was the uh, first one to develop uh, uh, IGZO and uh, I was of the opinion that uh, the IGZO would have to be uh, converted into a thin film so I observed the uh, IGZO under electron microscope and was able to observe that uh, there was a very thin crystal layer. And I was of the belief that uh, that crystal layer would have uh, very good uh, material properties. And the development of that uh, resulted in the CAAC. And uh, I'm of the opinion that eventually all of the uh, displays would be using IGZO. Well, terrific. We want to thank you for your efforts, and obviously you're showing the Display Industry Award that you received earlier today. I know you and another gentleman that I'm going to talk to shortly from Sharp were involved in the joint venture to create the IGZO technology, and I want to say thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Matsuo-san and Oketani-san of Sharp. Can you please tell me your role in developing the IGZO technology? いい研究所の方で開発されました。CAAC グゾ。あの結晶性のイグゾですけれども、これをあの日本の天理の工場で量産いたしました。液晶ディスプレイとしてあの製品化するところをあの担当いたしました。What uh, I did was to uh, take the uh, work that had been done by SEL on the development of the uh, uh, CAAC work that was done, and uh, what I did was to uh, convert uh, using the IGZO technology into mass-produced uh, technology, and that happened at the uh, Tenry plant. And uh, we are converting that into actual LCD display products. And that was where my work was. Well, thank you for your hard work on that. And obviously, resulted in an award here today at Display Week. Now, let's go over to Okitani-san. Can you please tell me the applications now that IGZO technology will be used for? それともう一つ、あの、有機エルのバックプレーンだとか、え、メムスディスプレイのバックプレーンだとか、液晶とは違うディスプレイを取るのも広がります。それと少し近い将来には、え、非ノンディスプレイ、ノンディスプレイ分
and the laptop uh, uh, computers. There could be, for example, 2K uh, uh, screen use, 4K screen use, and uh, uh, right now it's going to be uh, used initially in the LCD displays, but then eventually it will be used, for example, in the back plane of organic EL displays, and then eventually the uh, use would uh, spread into non-display areas. For example, um, X-ray sensors, that would be one place uh, where it could be used. Also, it could be used, for example, in a, a computer or CPU application. In other words, wherever silicon semiconductor is used, I envision that uh, uh, Excel will come to be used. Well, I want to thank you both for your time today and wish you congratulations on your award. And I would like to give a special thanks to our interpreter, y Yazaki san Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. In Vancouver, Angie Kellen for SID.